And it'd be one thing if Entz, you know, were able to do this, and then Poland could be proud, but it's the fact we've got two Polish cores, Rebels included, trying to chase that Spodek dream. It's going to be a bit of a dream in the face of the Falcons, who go for the four-player short side stack. Big aim duel queued up towards sight. Snappy going down without any, but Boros is able to extend around the side, and it's Olimp, who we were told to keep our eyes on, that gets it back with two kills. Interesting. Bias. Yeah, it's the... Walk back to heaven. Obviously, more options there. Sun Pius, can he piece this together? I think he has, actually. I feel like they made sound as they jumped back there, so Sun Pius has a clue. There's a question about whether they can just swing and trade Sun Pius. It would be two beautiful taps. Oh, Flay, make sure to give the cover, and it is Rebels indeed. Picking up Pistol and doing off the back foot. That double kill out of Olimp just turned the tide entirely. Served up issues to some of their competition thus far in 24. Snappy in the sea of utility here, trying to hone in on SNX. Yeah, gets a little rumbunctious in the smoke, delivers his head on a silver platter. That's an easy 5v4. And then they go bursting into the B site instead, overwhelming Magus because he only gets his one. Sun Pius at bat, miss shot. Uh oh. Now that bomb's looking to be planted. Good assistance oh, out they from Boros. They do drop the opera in the meantime. Madden tries to push outwards. Olimp, excellent double. Madden, though, right there to close it. Falcons on the board with one standing, but only one standing. Yeah, leave it to Madden. He saved the day right there. In a spot that could come back to cost them. Kisarek dodging the threat of that short play, but Magisk, oh, gets caught. Oh, I mean, and there's a second player underneath as yeah, well, right? Yeah, he's got speed here. SNX. SNX is ahead of the pack, and this could very well catch off the next player. Oh, my yep, God. Sun Pius not ready for the timing. Beautifully crept through from Rebels. They just have this huge... I mean, that was weird. They had a huge gap on mid right there, Falcons. That was pretty sloppy, right? I mean, all that we saw was um, Sun Pius coming through mid, only going to do so much prep for... Uh, a game where it should be lopsided in their favor. They're going to focus on playing their best game, and that should truly be the best way to play. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Rebels are on top. I mean, right there, they're the better team right now. It's it's a very ephemeral amount of rounds, but yeah. like... They're making moves. This, right? this is the best, I mean... They got strategies. They had a glaring... It was, they exposed a glaring error of Falcons. They executed well. What I was going to say is... It is probably smart if you're the super favorite to play your own game. Oh, okay. Okay. Snap back to reality. Quick peek from Boros <laughs> reminds them the level that they may be running into as this round goes on. But just Boros, he's managed to get two more headshots somewhere else on the map. Boros, uh oh. He's queued this one up with ease. Sun Pius. Oh, it gets oh my messy. God. And Flay's able to react. Cover towards short Madden. In the eyes of the opera, Flay can't Ooh. quick scope him down, so Boros just goes bananas. Yeah, that's a way to put it. I don't get to see those second and third headshots. Replay it up. We got to see what the hell just happened. We saw the first one and how fast it was. Inside a middle, yeah. In a game like this, you don't need to like lean heavily, right? There's the first laser beam. Oh. Uh, oh. Ooh. The way downtown spray transfer to the back. Clean up on aisle A. Leave it to the poles. Some pious forward angle in mid. Bop! He's got SNX easy. And Boros is here too. No follow through from the top mid play out of Rebels. So they've got two at the base of B. Their teammates coming to join him. Kisarek's going to take the entry duties into both hands. He's got the frag grenade coming at him. Won't make his job any easier. Flash is fantastic from Boros. Magisk maximizes off it. And with that, they could just slot into a 5v3. Run little risk from here on out. And Falcon should be closing the gap. Gravedigger does the double backflip into Car Crush 5540. <clears throat> that actually made it sound like you weren't sick at all. <laughs> I, I thank everybody for bearing with me. Let's see if Snappy can leave an opening. Nope, he's going to shut the door on the crane. Ah, a little cheeky headshot on Flay as well, who didn't really do anything wrong, just kind of took a straight to the face. Trying to be the third in the pack, and no running, no hiding, Olimp Falcons. 
Welcome to the game. As Boros that brought him back in. <laughs> Here it comes, the rumblings of the commitment. Rebels can't help but make sound on the approach. Madden's trying to swing out with the player to support him on Crane. Uh-oh. Yeah, caught out in no man's land. Great peaks from Kesarak. Snappy, when do you aggress? It's... He's, oh, holding. Good, he's got a good line of support behind him. Magus serving up a good distraction. Some Pius down empty-handed. Snappy gets the dink. But SNX still thrives. Sporos, he's on the scene. And he's going to have to be everything now in the 1v2. It's a fake to get him to spray. That's two T's confirmed. Oh, this is the right move. This side of the That's smoke. Challenge pressing out. It's being watched by Casey, though. He still slides out, wins the fight. Olimp along the wall. He's going to peek right side. Boros sees the Ooh. shadow, loses Doyle. Oh. And Olimp's going to pick this one up. Boros got a little frustrated about it because he knew exactly how that fight would turn out. That was, that was a really good read on that situation. And I got to say, Boros. Oh, timing on the peek from Magus. But he doesn't overcommit, doesn't force the kill at all, really. Just wants to tuck into green with a teammate with him, him and Boros. They could go for the boost. Magisk gonna play around the smoke. Oh, nicely done for Magisk finding those two. Madden gonna offer up a frag as well. There is a response though, a rebuttal from the Rebels. Oh, Slay. clean. Slain by Magisk. What a wonderful 4K round out of Magisk. Yeah, that was so nice. Yeah, his aim was looking nice right here. He just feasts. The drop down into the second. Very clean with it. Yes, sir. Golden bullets. And the shot's in. Then Pius followed by Boros on the trade. Hip to hip right there is perfect. There was no way to run. You take Sun Pius, somebody's going to come get you. Casey immediately the walk up thinking that this is a weak looking sight, but Magisk is here on a depressed angle. Yeah, for the first time we see him that far outwards. And now Snappy locking in sandbags. If he turns, Kisarek's a dead man. And sure enough, he gets it. So I think just very good individual level from all the players on Falcons. I mean, Sun Pius has missed a couple shots. He's actually three and seven. But at the same time, Boros, Magisk, Madden, the Riflers, very clean. The trade frags, very strong. There hasn't been too many individual plays, but just nice little two-man attacks coming out of the defense, whether that's top middle, down ramp, or I guess the Boros solo MP9 flank, but all's good in the Falcons' camp. It was a great test out of Rebels at the start of this half, but 7-5 the score as Falcons will take to the T-side. Beat some better teams, and they haven't proven that they can do that yet. Good flank from Olimp. He's getting behind Falcons before bombs down. He's gotten all the way up short, in fact. There, yeah. quick execute to Boros. We get this turnout, but nicely done. All right. He's just locking it in, surrounding the ramp play. That's now both pistols in their back pocket. We can't forget that of their five rounds in the first half, it was pistol and conversion for the 3-0 start. So only two rounds after that sprinkled in. Winning second pistol. Get right back to it, boys. I would like like split cams where you can just see how ex like happy they are. I would even like to compare a, like a, a, a round where they lose. Still waiting for Sun Pius to kind of get online. It's been tough for him with Boros and Magisk and Madden stealing all the kills. But here it comes. They've got a lot of grenades to follow through with. They also pick up the two opening entries and they've got a one stuck behind sandbags. Remember, all these nades does Olimp run the risk? They're gonna put the smoke to try to cross. Olimp realizes what's happening. He bails out Kisarek, who's then able to get one on his own. Even with three HP left over, he's still locked in. Fomus of Magisk connects, but Olimp reroutes. That's excellently done from Olimp, saving Kisarek once. And he'll be up to the plate again. This time he can actually serve up dinner, dinner for himself. Maybe feed the whole family with this clutch. No bomb plan will be denied. Ooh. MP9 comes out, double swing comes in. Olam just said, let's just be sure. Yeah, I respect that. You are peeking into Sun Pius after all. Four pieces of util across the board here for Falcons. They get softened up by nades, and Snappy's just using the Mac 10. So we'll see if this timing from Sun Pius catches anybody off. He tries to charge along, finds Flay. Oh, oh he my can't God. Kill it. And then the two other CTs in rotation end up holding the line. Snappy comes out a short side, smokes down towards door. That's headshot enveloped, shrouded, 
as Kisarek tries to Ooh, extend. Boros gets his next, him. and that's man advantage now the way of Falcons. Casey, this could be a huge flank. He's got a good Wild. timing, but now his only teammate. Yeah, it's just him. Yeah. Down he goes. Magis going to make the difference here on this one. Two frags to Magis. That double on Boros when the CT started peaking. He didn't it's... give them a chance to shoot back with yeah. the headshot pace. I mean, Boros has been saving him for sure. Um, he's making up for some bias. Kisarek getting hit by Util. But it's 5v4 nonetheless. Look at this. Pack of CTs. The perfectly placed Molotov, right? It's limited utility here from Rebels, but I feel like they've made the most of the little pieces they've thrown. It's coming! They try to oh. charge him down. It's a second with the 5-7. Madden giving a chance to tear through. Ooh, wow. Clean shot. Two bullets come out. He hits Olim. Remember, Bomb is planted on the right side of sight. Here we oh. get the answer back from Casey. Lesser weapons at this point for Falcons to hold on with. Snappy tries to get into the engagement, but Ooh. the gun goes dry what and the? Rebels come through. They pulled off that retake. Yeah, get loud. Crazy that they pulled it. How did, how did Falcons let this one go? Honestly, I mean, even though Olim gets this kill right here, when the bomb gets planted, I feel like there's so many situations where they could have picked off more than one and couldn't get it. Look like what Madden a push was, out of Rebels. I think Madden was flashed on sandbags. When that push does come through smoke. With, with angles like this, if it's too quiet, there's no other pressure. It will just get clear. There's nothing else to watch. So you'll see Boros in a hard clear right there. Yeah. <laughs> there's no, you know, it's like you got to just basically you're hoping they're bad. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's the moments where you got to like give up those positions completely. Some Pias can stay on this angle, waiting for any kind of challenge. Magis glimpsing into B. Mm, there you are. But he falls to the hands of Casey. Luckily here for Falcons, Madden follows forward with the double kill here on the A site. Poor Kisarek just standing out in the open, trying to get the best with the Fomas. Will win one fight. He's getting a piece of the second, but it is a bomb plant on A and a 10th round queued up here for Falcons. Setting the tempo, setting the pace, and just keeping their targets fresh as well, right? We got a solo lurk out mid, solo lurk in B. Rebels, at least you like Vertigo, but uh, now you're broke. Now your ass is broke. So. All right, but uh, it's uh, pressure mounting on Casey. They might catch a peek on this walk-in. Oh, wow. no, the shoulder's a little off. Casey Ooh, gets bottled, but he still gets his frag. Not only one, but three. Oh. He's got the A1S in hand. He's got a teammate right behind him. SNX comes over to close it, and Sun Pius is going to have to give us something. Finally, no, sir. Oh. Not going to happen. What a hold. Wow, a bottle to the head, and he powers up and gets three kills. He might be kind of British. They tried to play that as a hard round. Flay back to the same spot, but wasn't known. Oh, ouch. Uh-oh. Yeah, shot. yeah, there's more coming shot. his way. Ah. Post. Well, at least he got a shot off to spell with some utility, but no damage dealt. T's still coming on with torrential force. Who's and SNX. Oh, oh, no. oh, Snappy comes through as well to get the other. Rebels trying to play into it, trying to get something actively going, and unfortunately, it just gives away three separate kills. The booster of victim of the boosty, that dink on Snappy doesn't even so close. drag. Yeah, so unfortunate close. here for Rebels. Again, playing proactive. Terrorists win. Well, win. yeah, well, we saw what happened last time. It was like almost full pistols, and then Falcons were a bit too... A bit too reckless and decided to force their way into B after the, the nades. They knew that B was going to be stacked up a little bit. So there's a there's a world where Rebels make a pay for making a mistake like that, getting a little too lazy. Don't sleep on these guys. They really respected the Rebels here. So what could this mean? They're, they're running back into this full stack? Oh, okay. No. Smoke fades and Flay gets exposed. There's a lot more here, though. And Madden able to pounce on SNX. Olimp dies. Kisarek, the only guy here inside of the A stack to get anything going. I was proud of Rebels for not over panicking to the Casey calls, but ultimately they still get shredded one after another. Falcons pull apart the ramp play, survive the Polish test, and walk away with Rebels map pick. And a tip of the hat to Boros. 22 frags to open up this series. But the dream, the dream is still alive.
I, I mean, I, I don't know. They're, literally, if Falcons have one match on Anubis, they lost. So we'll we'll have to see like how good they look. Of course, it was to Vitality, but it really wasn't close either. So it just comes down to, in my opinion, how 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 good is the prep? Do they know it was coming? Can they deal with these duelies? Ooh, they get away from matches. They do a little bit. Yeah, actually, they've got full control of A main as well, so they can plant this bomb. These sites opened up. Boros on the main flank. Bombs planted for him. T looks over, considers the possibility. Oh, no, excuse me. It's behind the cake. Oh! Shots out of Casey. See ya. Madden gets exposed to both. Snappy. Trying to get the first pistol of the series. Oh, SNX. nice chase. Yeah, he thought he was going to run, but didn't quite make it. Snappy drops the sight, taps bomb. He's thinking about it, thinking about it. Casey seems to have his back. Oh, Snappy oh. can't finish. It's a Casey 1v1. And the third pistol in the series yes. goes the way of Rebels. That's well done, Rebels. Let's go. I mean, I'm liking the approach right now, actually, from the T side, timing-wise, structurally. There's no A pushes here from Falcons. Good lurk. They found a gap in middle. If they get the kills, honestly. Man, this is a great split. Flushed them right into him. They forced their hand, and now Madden, almost, able to bring it back on his own. We get the Sun Pius kill in the middle of it, but it's Rebels gunning for that 4-0 start, and they are forced to save. That was a great split. It's not necessarily a sign of weakness if the CGs turtle up a tiny bit. And the T's were ready for every push. They used all portions of the round correctly. They had a lurk inside a bridge that was not overstated, and the round didn't depend on it. CT's passive on this part of the map. It's been hard to hold sometimes. And Majisk, oh, he gets some good information, but he doesn't get the kill. He stays out here. Hello. Nice. Just nice ran now. by. I don't even think Olymp would think he would push farther. That did look insane, but he got away with it. Majisk says, screw this first fight. Let me make sure there's nothing outside dark. Gets the 5v4 plus the damage. It's not even calm that he pushed. And he gets away. You know, like he gets past once and then gets past the second time back into the site. Well done, Matt just now becoming <laughs> an anchor in the bomb site. So just doing everything from start to finish on his own. Leaving Rebels with a chance to hit B. 15 seconds to spare here. We've got Boros on the pillar, Snappy on the obelisk. And the defense is holding very strong this round. Stark contrast. Desperate plant and a strong flank out from Madden. There we go. That's more like it out of Falcons. Five strong. But it takes a proactive move from Magisk, and one he should be proud of. Already, it's it's coming. So we'll have Magisk, or Madden in heaven. Magisk up close. Ooh, before any smoke goes down, Magisk dunks on Olimp, holds the line against Casey. Oh, Magisk! From nade to three. And Frags Flay. off the M4 on the follow-up. Flay with the trade frag gets into the bomb site. Can he get off? He's got time. Yeah, he's got the 1v2, 45 seconds. And uh, and and actually, now they're a little bit lost. He's above. Opshot comes in through. Oh my gosh. It's a wall bang. It's half HP. It's no kill. But it's it's really now all about magic. What a hold. First kill something, but the second and third. From poor Flay's perspective, you just see your teammates hitting the dirt in front of you like that. Can't get past Magis. The dunk with the nade as well to kick it off just makes the job all the easier. Yeah, I guess that's uh, the prize. Upgraded to a new tier of responsibility with the AWP. Some counter grenades coming in, but they find a wide open choke point once again. Madden from above. Three players dead from Falcons. Instantly wings clipped. Sight taken over. Go home. It's time to save already. Can't even look up at the clock. The bomb's been planted. So they run from the op into three rifles. Snappy will spring out first, take down two. Two T's coming in from mains. Can they trade Snappy? Doesn't look like it, but from Glizzy, two swing. Yeah, that plat peak ready to hold him back. Flay kind of stuck between the two. He knows the looming threat of either peak is real. Then there's that third piece unknown. Flay on the chase. Snappy turns, takes the P250 to the head. Oh, oh easy. Play. Nice flick up. He's got the bomb as well, and SNX has CT spawn in his hands. That bomb is just running over to the other side of the map. He's this being is, stalked. This is Rebel 6 2. You're not getting away from this. Damn, man. This is a really good T half so far. We've seen some great rounds. Like, 
literally, they're a map control, and they look better. It looks better than Vertigo. I think they're actually still vulnerable here. Falcons, they got to ready their counter util, but it's not coming out in the choke point just yet. One Molly goes down. Smoke through it, and some Pius finds a pick off. But we get Casey on the front line. Flay just shoots through smoke, catching Sun Pius. Madding concerned about the mid play. The problem with going turtle mode is, yeah, you let that entire pack of teeth oh, clean one. Flay onto Snappy. Hook Casey em. hits the headshot. Boros into the clutch, but first player's already evading him. And that's just going to queue up the back line here from Rebels. Bro. 4v5 like it's nothing. They got murked. And they get that one molly down there. They're really playing, first of all, repetitive spots on the A site. They're not complimenting each other that well. And uh, I think at least they felt, because they went for this opening, that there wasn't going to be any more pressure. Uh, that they were kind of done with this site, maybe. But... Wasn't this a tantalizing option all along? Rebels have already shown they've used it. Yeah, no reason to be afraid. That quick glimpse as well from Flay onto Sun Pius in sight. The whole point of a strat like that is you don't need five players to execute it. It's a good day to be Polish. Boros, a few players targeting him. He doesn't get any of them down for the count. Oh my god, they just... Couple sketchy nades here, bouncing back in their own faces. Rebels getting a little rowdy here. Is this really gonna work? They come and pick off Boros and just take the whole damn house? No. Kick open the front door, it's the first step, but Ooh. there is also starting to be a rebuttal. Falcons, two kills in, double man advantage. Casey, yeah, he'll get clipped out by the op. Flay into the clutch, falls back towards Long Madden, has him. And we will get Falcons just enveloping that push, right? One kill to them meant sight control. They rush the plant, they get in. Can't say I could have expected this with the level that we got out of the Riflers, right? Boros was on a tear. Yeah. But honestly, he only has four deaths. Oh, wow. another one. Sweet shot, man. Boros just hasn't been in the middle of much of the action. We get the crawl out from Rebels across bridge. Boros, here's another chance. Instant headshot. That'll put things back to the 4v4. Some Pius feeling the heat. The pressure gets him into the back of sight. He's got support. Missed chance. Rebels with some more utility try to cross out. Ooh. Kisarek maybe thinking, maybe hoping that that was fully covered, but slight gap between the two smokes. He'll get toppled. Man advantage Falcons in the last 35 seconds of this T side. Looking to scrape four. Would make it a lot more doable. Oh, oh my goodness, ugh. that was not the prettiest spray. And oh, I, oh, well, okay, he took just as long, but for the second kill, it was milliseconds, and now suddenly everybody is getting vaporized. It is just Boros left alone with the first opening. Nice kill of the round. Nasty spray. Not one he'll be proud of. Olymp doesn't waste any time there with the back-to-back -back headshots. They hear him coming in from long as well, so Boros, sorry, buddy. No element of surprise. Right into the op, he'll be dropped. A significant 9-3 wow. lead. A hell of a rebound in the second map of this series. And just when you thought you could count the Rebels out, yeah, they remind you why they're here. They were way better. Way better than Falcons here on Anubis. On Falcons map pick. So yeah, T-side will be a boon. But by how much? One for one trade, and the CTs get moving. Ooh, Casey takes one to the head. That's going to be him rerouting fast. Snappy down to E-Box. Oh, Gets man. away from him. All that remains of the Rebels has been found out to be an E-Box. We've got the long player tucked in, letting them flood out. But now that they've managed to spread across site, things get weird. Flay connects. Wait, Boros doesn't even... SNX. Oh, it doesn't wow. matter. Jesus. He gets turned on. Oh, they're all dead. He got the retake. matter at all. Flay wow. with time. Rebels, four pistols in the series. You're kidding. 10-3 lead map two. These guys are for real. That is crazy. Four pistols straight, and they were potentially going to win the map. And they have crushed this first half. I mean, this will be... I mean, this is going to be a conversation. Like, everyone's expecting Falcons. Some kind of run here for Falcons. W whatever happens here, it's going to follow them in terms of what people are talking about, how they feel about their game. Um, and unfortunately for Rebels, for the people who are watching the match live, they're not going to know too much about the quality of CS that we saw. 
Of course, all that could be just ripped from them if Falcons fall through with this force buy. We've got a bunch of bodies coming at this A hit, but it is three CTs in position. Olymp on Fountain, shapes Boros off the play. Wide swing out, gets denied. That's two dead. Oh. Flay still in the middle of it. His 17th and 18th oh added to the tally. And man, advantage held on for now. The camera push comes out with the flash. Snappy dodges it. Galil, it chews through the two of them. Flay hits his shot. And as he gets back around into heaven, he looks with the USP. Oh he my what? god, even cutting Snappy off. But Madden yes. makes the difference. The force buy works. The op is grabbed and a fourth to the board for Falcons. A full commit with the USP. Could have actually slid out. Had to take a couple on the chin. Now we'll see what the answer is. Three B stack flay immediate on the op kill. Madden not going to waste the chance, closes gap to Pillar, but doesn't hyperextend. Luckily, Casey picks up that slack, gets him off it. Flay looks for his next victim. We got three defenders still in position, but with Snappy and Dark, he's feeling it. The resmoke is good. The CTs are here. I mean, yeah, can they actually just pry their way back in? I don't think so. Because you're afraid to go back to middle. Yes, exactly. And, and, and reclaiming mid is like a whole effort now. So, and you don't technically need to hold on to it. It's oh. all setups. No way, Flay. Oh. Wait, uh, blind. He can do anything. It's 23 Molly. and 7 is Flay after that shot. Takes the second Molotov. And it may yeah, be a Flay round winner. He's looking for another. He hits that. SNX comes out from Temple, low HP. Sun Pius, 30 seconds. Long players close on the corner. Sun Pius, he could do this. You damn well know he could. Trying to get over to the dark room, and SNX follows wow, him down. Man. His fourth kill only of this map, but God, does it ever matter. An 11th to the Rebels scoreboard. Truly, that was special. Man, the setup is solid, and they just came right back into it. They were really hoping that they would get scared and do something, and there was no other tertiary options here for Falcons. No extremity flanks, no lurks through bridge, nothing like that. It's the worst thing to analyze about a loss. They got a lot to analyze. Ooh, wow, oh okay. God. Man, give him an AK, but the follow-up, it ain't free. Great timing, Olim. Oh, that is the game right now, finding that timing on the swing. And that's what we want to praise about Rebels, right? Tethering, playing together just like this. Another two-man pack. Ooh. They get it back on Boros. Nothing comes for free at any portion of the map. Rebels there to meet you. Falcons want an A fight. Falcons want a B fight both times, costing them a player and a bunch of health too. So we get into these dirty, muddy mid-round moments, and this is where we have sang praise for SNX. There it is. Yeah, Goes man. across the bridge, catching Magisk in transition. Oh, very much, yeah. Is uh, he makes make great makes great call. so many great uh, Polish IGLs here. Uh, I am Kedavite. Shuhei, Snacks, Glaive. <laughs> now SNX. Man, advantage for the retake. Ooh, one piece spotted. SNX, that's going to push Snappy back into the site where the smoke fades. Oh, but he blindsides the long play. SNX drops down dark. That's where both T's wait, and they just slowly pull this one apart. One and two go down smooth. No Olymp into the clutch. He'll have to go. Yeah, he's got he's to concede it, and Falcons have found a way back in. The move to win it all, but at least they recover the op. It looks like Falcons coming in right for it just to check if they can reach it, maybe catch him. On the exit, they're looking for it on the ground. Yeah, it was that was one round. It wasn't exactly convincing, but it was good. Just like that. Wow. Set the pistols up. Flashbang. Oh, the fantastic. next flash. Oh, look, at it. Oh, look at them go. Layered like Five a in an instant. Oh, Jesus, that is so fantastic to watch. That is truly satisfying. Hats off to you guys. Oh, that's a round they'll remember for a long time. Securing 12th off of that. You just made Falcons look like fools. Yeah, was that a, was that a three parter? One, two. That second flash is so beautiful. Op comes in at the right oh. time. Queen to support the pods right there. Flay with two. <laughs> and the Falcons go down in that type of situation, man. That is wonderful. Wow, what a round. A round you can be proud of. And if that is what sets us up to take this series to the decider, to test Falcon's metal through and through. Sun Pius creeps out from Ebox. 
CT is behind the smokes. Boros going to find a headshot straight through it. They try to get some spam in. Everybody's here, ready to rock. T's getting kills as they hold on to the bomb plant. Job's not done yet, boys. Flay not able to escape. It's a beautiful round prior, but the game still keeps going. Okay. Angrily, they ran back into the B bomb site, gave it another try. And from this position is where he kick started that last successful round where they secured a 12th. It was pistols in front of the Oh, op. my God. This time, Kisarek right into Boros. That is coverage right there, man. That He's got your back. 5v4. No way. I don't know. Fulham can do anything. I mean, it is a 5-7 wow. after all. Dude, just like that. Shot between the eyes. One close lens of Pius runs in with his $500 pistol. Missed op, though. Finally, Flay gives a little room for them to thrive within. CT gets squeezed out. Oh, but he wins it! SNX! A double! Just like that siphons the soul out of Falcons. Oh my god. Just when the op shot misses, SNX takes all that slack from 5 and 12. He gets his 6th and 7th. And then who better than Flay to post on this angle? Because Madden's thinking that he has a chance. Falcons thought they wow. had this in the bag. What a win. And instead, it is the Rebels to be proud as they stand tall on the top of a phenomenal, phenomenal T side. And you sprinkle in a CT round or two, this is what we get. A three-map series between Rebels and Falcons. And as we move to Nuke, there is no doubt that this Polish powerhouse has come to play. Written off in the play-in, but very much alive. I will never forget that outer B hit. That one op flashbang peak. Yeah. But down goes Bomb here in the pistol. Still zero pistol round wins for Falcons in this series, but it looks like that has finally come to a close. Okay. This one's going to be clean as you could ask. Heaven player dropping down gets caught in the process. SNX called a fantastic game back on Anubis, even if his individual level wasn't world class. Here we go. The first of five Falcons win a pistol. Or Rebels. How deep is a map pool? How deep is a nuke knowledge in CS2? Snappy comes through smoke, goes down, first casualty of the gun round. Are they aware of this potential timing? They should be. I feel like anything is possible with those smoke grenades up. They should be on high alert, but... Oh, he just missed it. SNX turns around as if to watch the garage. I want to say it's actually still a good sign that he went. Th he actually checked it. Like, he had Agreed. a thought, yeah. Yep, but he just missed it by a second or two. Oh, limp, gotta look down. Oh my god. But he hears him. He sees him, he deals with it. 3v3 back in hand. Two players come out from Hut. They both get shut down. Kisarek holding that line on the front of the site. Olymp able to get all the way out from heaven. Sees the shadow. Woo! He doesn't react. God damn. Madding comes out with a double kill, sixth of the map. But Flay was world class back oh. on Anubis. Oh, stopping Tetris is it's the spot to be in. Madden would, of course, not like to deal with this op, not knowing where it's coming from. But you could have a good idea. Early scope comes in. He's crossing back to Hut. Found his timing. He got out of there. Oh, wait a second. Flea's I think Flay has made the right play. But he scoped in. Oh, oh my no. God. Oh, he had the read, but he makes the mechanical error. I, I think he thought that Madden was going to sit in Hut and then he would follow him back. I think he couldn't believe how right he was. They're going to get aggressive into the lobby crunch. Trophy will show no contest. Beautiful oh timing on the peak out of Kisarek. 5-7 goes downstairs, hits the dink. Madden's down to 7 health. An entire pack of players led to the next pistol, but all as good as Boros churns through them. Whoa, Flay didn't Whoa. shoot. Wait, they, they don't cross him up just yet. Now for sure, Sun Pius. He can stop that victim. bomb as well. Grabs an op as well for himself. His teammates also hands on weapons. Already falling apart. Snap, he's got the AK back from Vent, but this one has hit a massive crater of a speed bump downstairs. Snappy turned away from the op. Flay, oh, loses his oh. face. 50 seconds still. Yeah, he should have just swung into that, basically. Snappy gave him a chance. They might know one's clock, but I'm not sure. It's a great spot to be either way. Hard to clear, especially with a second CT available. That guy only has an MP9, but he's also unspotted. So, Snappy. Oh, there it is. 
Info known. Great move. That's the swing I'm talking about. Take it to them. I love all that trash talk that gets interrupted by, go, oh, save the gun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Right back to the server. Make sure to that. grab the off. Yeah, I'm the guy who stands up immediately yeah. at land. And you like, see my... Buddy, you've still got an MP9, man. <laughs> let's, let's get those guns. Game's shall over, we? son. Yeah. <laughs> but it is nice to see Rebels answer with lesser weapons. That's crazy because last round, they got 1v3'd. Kasarek up on door is about to have his hands full. Three players looking to push. Oh, only gets the one. Casey can't manage the multi-frag. We've got Olimp stuck downstairs, and the main wrap comes around with no coverage from the upper outer. Nice slice from Falcons getting into the site like that. We've got, of course, Olimp ready to come up from vent. Flashbangs into heaven. Good Olimp ready to pounce. But uh, it won't be easy for the op to simply get into this. He's got a flash for himself which is boring. Never fun to do this. And Olim just testing the waters here. They know he's going to come up at some point, but he doesn't mean he won't get the kill. In fact, he will. Snappy left alive, and he goes down from Batman. Flay up top. The whole coordination is a success. Everything goes so well, and they survive with three. Wow, that's amazing, man. Not a single kill in that post plant from the Falcons. Molly disrupts the potential for the pop. Still plenty of flashbangs here for Falcons and an extra Molotov if they want to throw it out. They will onto the second vent. Good flash to Kisarek. Now he can't see Jack. Oh, man. We've got two players out from heaven, though. They're not going to waste a moment. Quickly extending oh, okay. the vent hold and just churning through the Falcons. Wow. That is good. Those Rebels are... just not even giving them any space. You can go up there and, like, choke spray and mess up your... But they trust each other, man. They really believe they're going to go up there and get those kills. You can really choke and mess up, and those Tech Nines can drill you. But they they truly have each other's backs. I mean, they really think their aim is all that, and they are delivering on it. it. Is. The rotations I'm... are fast. Smooth as butter with the Vent to Heaven connection. But right now, Boros already peeling one off. We're going to get this late lobby lurk. Kisarek trying to get into the middle, but now Sun Pius hits his headshot. Ah, uh, they're limping in. Yeah, Rebels, they don't even get a sight line on the bomb site before losing out, essentially. They've already given it up, so nicely done from Falcons. It felt like they had a foot in the door very early on. Yeah. Kisarek, hold on. Wait a sec. There's no, 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 no way. No, 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 no. Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God a Molotov. There's, There's no way he back. has time. Does he have time? They've got to run through. Oh, okay. my God. Wow, so if that's a smoke. Oh, my If that's a God. smoke. Oh my god. If he had like, I mean, wow, I don't know. Kind of a hard situa situation to figure out, but I think they did two things right here. And, <clears throat> oh, oh my wow. god, what a flick by Snappy. That is really nice. That kind of saves it here for, for the Falcons. It's certainly not over, but yeah, Snappy knows how to get away now. Casey could try to find him, but Snappy's already on the... Yeah, he's going to try to make that a long round. Okay. I mean, Falcon's certainly going to end lower, right? Come on, now they're right on the brink of it. Ooh, oh, Snappy actually God. goes back. Casey finds him. Yeah, now now, they, now it's definitely going to end lower. Leading themselves into Olim's crosshair. Bomb plant towards Astralis. No cover. Oh, my God. Wow, Magisk turns it over. He makes it. Forces 2v2. They Casey. plant. One player's hands will be busy. Magisk goes down. Casey, low HP. Sunpai is 1v2 for himself. And there comes another layer of defense on the attack. Flay with the up versus an upper and a shot in the side of the head. It's a free upgrade here for Sun Pius with the round win to boot. And finally, Falcons look alive. Energy rise. And now they're playing the same game. Now they're giving it back. Layers on that one consistently just whittling it back and forth. Trade late, trade late. Down to the 1v1. Sun Pius just jumping out of the way of that op shot as well, right? How many times have we seen Flay land those shots? Yeah. And this time, just slightly off the mark. Yeah. This didn't go quite deep enough. Some more games from SNX calling, and some of these players, I hope to see them back. I hope that they stick together. We go that far. Boros through the red smokes. Oh, they're going to get found out. Boros, the two kills on the CTs up front. SNX. Sliding through. Oh, read like a book by Snappy. But here comes oh, KC denied. No. Barrels stuffed out of Boros, and we're starting to get that individual flair from the Falcons. Yeah, about time. That's good. 
Three maps into the series, and they're starting to lay it on thick. Carnage and Chaos and a Boros multi-frag. Four on the round. As he just layered it up on the red players, followed through to Garage, and he keeps waving at him. He <laughs> keeps smirking back. We saw Boros with the smack talk at the start of the year. He's brought it since the start of Falcons. Good read on that spray from Snappy as well, right? Just anticipating any kind of movements coming out of main. Yeah, yeah. Here, and I think... What's Flay working with? Yeah, he's got a flash for top secret. I think they should go for it. Boros going to find that fast flank. Yeah, he's got Thomas. that. With support, but the pistol player, it's only damage. Oh, the nade from Ooh. Olim. That'll get the job done. Don't forget, right, first time that Falcons win a pistol in the series, convert for the 3-0. That's why the Rebels have played off the back foot. <laughs> Sidelined. See ya. And let's see what Magus can post. Oh, my God. What the hell? I thought that I came through the, the wall. wall. <laughs> oh, man. At least one more added to the tally. Rebels, they've pushed this series to a third map, unbelievably so, exceeding all expectations. One half left for one of these teams, and we genuinely don't know who. Oh, he's got a nice surprise, man. CS just delivers these moments with these hometown heroes, baby. Love to see it. See if they can win fighting. another pistol. That would be ridiculous. Certainly not gonna win another pistol. Oh, come on, they've already won five. Flay, starting to swing further, wants more than just the three. Madden sits up top. He's going to jump and chase and try to take it towards the ramp. I mean, we saw Flay go world-class on Anubis. Magis is already looking at those duels. Like, these are kind of expensive, actually. <laughs> I would love to have these next would, round. Yeah, I mean... Madden says, yeah, I got the Kevlar, too. So they're going to dip. They're going to save it, and Rebels will answer. Oh Five God. out of the six pistols Five in the series. Of, Five out of six pistols. All the way of Rebels. Falcons versus Falcons. What is happening, man? <laughs> He's a... Yeah. Madden dies the bomb. United in their endeavor. It's a quick answer back, Rebels. Oh my god, the flashes are excellent. But they get a little stuck up inside the choke points. USP oh, doing yeah. work! Imagine with the calmness, puts two up right there. And that's actually a quick eighth. And I, I think that um, they all kind of were, they were hitting all the door frames when they were trying to get out through the smoke. It was a very adamant push. As if there was no other option, that it had to be that and it had to be then. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, definitely something went wrong right there. And just like that, there goes momentum. They're going to try it again. Oh. They do dive one down vent. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! <laughs> There's no way that works! <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> that is so funny. It doesn't even turn. <laughs> He's just swinging that thing, hoping, hoping it would get longer. Yeah, $1,500 was so worth it, man. That wasn't even about to play it. <laughs> oh, this game's got it all. <laughs> I am crying right now. Wait, it was that, um, it was old. <laughs> Oh my god. Poor Magisk. Good confirmation. Gotta be wary of those HEs. They coming through this? Oh, it's on the pre-fire and there's fire on the steps. One of them, it's gonna expire soon. Boros coming in. up. Boros on the quick hot heels of them. Oh, nice double from Boros. That takes him to 20 and nine. Oh no, it comes down to Ola. Olymp. He's just here with himself. There was, where's that bomb? Was it in the vent or on the site? It's next to it. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Dude, Boros is... Yeah, he saved that. Boros is saving him just like back on Vertigo where I think the game was getting tight and Boros just went above and beyond. This is going to be two maps in the series where we can point to Boros and say star potential. Uh, Yeah, but it's like, why is it... I don't mean to say why is it Boros because like Boros is like known for being able to stomp at this level. That was already what he's known for, right? Like, literally. The question was like versus... 
tier one teams, can he be equivalent to Nico? But for the rest of Falcons, what's their excuse? They're the ones who are trying to sort of foster the growth on Boros. I guess that makes sense that he gets the frags. No, I think. But he's really just. Oh my God! Wait, is there a chance to plant? No, it was so close. Uh, uh, that's crazy. Magisk was sweating for a second, but yeah, time expires. Decides the tenth to Falcons. Uh, a lower ranked team. That's um. You know, usually Sun Pius is a great gatekeeper. Here we go. Put him on the microscope, and uh, that's a 2K that softens up the Rebels' approach to the B play. We saw Madden throw himself up from single door last round. We'll do it yet again. Olimp loses his head, and Falcons on a quick run to that 11th. That's one Tech 9 tapping downstairs, the other here in the hands of Flay looking for somebody outer, but CT's doing a good job of keeping their heads tucked. Ooh, but Damn, that's a clean peek, man. In AK, things get interesting. He could come join Flay in heaven. That's there's, the best spot for him to be in right now. There's nothing to stop him from getting there. They have a perfect connection. And honestly, if Casey makes noise, and he could also... Bomb goes down. There's a player above the hut. Yeah. Yeah, they, they're probably not going to figure this out. So he should just be sitting there watching heaven, I think. Or oh, no just cross. go and die the mini. Uh, okay. Now Flag's going to get fully exposed I, I to Madden, it... who comes back and clears it. So he gets ahead of it, knows he has to dive. Oh, man. Oh, the turn. He's giving himself a chance. Ooh. No way, Flay. Make a moment. Make a moment of he it. Here's it. All oh, three from Flay. Popped on the approach like it's nothing. Like it's a souffle, baby. Up top. Wow, that was sick. Those two Tech 9 kills were unbelievable. And the turn to dodge the flash right before that. That's a Kodak moment in and of itself. Disgusting from the man that was stealing his share of the pie on Anubis. Flake continues to serve here on Nuke. No crumbs. <laughs> Heart beaten. Just say, hey, what about him? What about him as a next up? Always looking at new IGL. So, oh my god, it's actually Ooh. such low utility here. Every kill hurts that much more. We've got a whole pack of players coming for Boros. Oh, he's not ready exactly. So, he plays it safer and dives. Sun is sticking in the fire, but they don't jump in front of the scope. They will now charge headstrong down to the B site. Boros and Madden here to hold it, but one of them gets smoked off. Patient for the nades. Boros is going to have to do this on his own. They avoid him by going dark. They He's both not good. die. Both players in the B site fall empty-handed. It's a perfect explode. They don't have control side. They don't have rep. They don't have decon either. So they're vulnerable. But there's no CTs coming. And there's only two. That's stuff that usually experience will complement greatly, right? That's something that is hard to replicate from other better teams that have been together longer. But they are having no problem showing intent really good timings with each other. Easier said than done. It looks wonderful from our perspective, and it's damning if you're Falcons. Matt and Dick, Desert Eagle. <gasps> no. Oh, he got two. Two kills off the top of Hut. This flurry, it gets oh. stopped in its tracks. Flay to recover again. But oh. no, not this time. Oh, they tried the upper hit. It fails twice. That's the second time. That's what I was saying, man. They had the... Even though a lot of other things have looked good, that one upper attack that was so messy, they ran through the smoke, they died to the hut guy. That's a dangerous call to make. Oh, and a, a very scary... How does he get two here? Oh my god. Nice shooting from Madden. Yeah, I mean, it's just going to happen sometimes. It just couldn't happen right now. Madden saves a day for Falcons. See if they divert away from A. Sun Pius looking for his oh, great okay. into play scope. <laughs> See ya. Olymp, though, there's a second op on the field. Boros with his catches one elsewhere. And Snappy, gotta be cautious. Whole pack of players coming through that smoke. They want Grage. Oh, they oh. get him. Kisarek in with the headshot. Magisk from the A play has got nothing to look at. But if SNX falls off, 
I, I feel like they had drops. To... It's perfect. Oh my god. The flashbang finds Magisk. Madden on top of Silos. No. Cleared out by the IGL. That's his eighth kill. SNX leading from the front. Hard mode, like you said. They grab this one. Outer so smoked that it felt like Falcons could just sit there. But in sitting there, they let their guard down and they get swarmed. And Rebels take it right back. Some Pius gets straight up out opt. Out opt by perfect positioning from Flay. Boros finds his and that's it. An exit frag for him and Rebels right to 10 kills. Right to 10 rounds. Any outcome possible. Falcons got every tool they need for this 12th. Oh, they're going to lay on the heat. Oh, 5v3 in an instant. Oh my god, this call so brave to make, and it works out beautifully here for Falcons. They wait for their weapons. They use them well. They spot that bomb on the rooftop, and they have sent a message back to Rebels. You need to fight every step of this way. Oh my god, it could be instant match point. They came in with no smokes into this round. They had to do something aggressive. A 3v5 demanded of the Rebels. We've got Madden already inside main. Some players floating around. Ooh, but he sees it. Oh, Sun Pius is going to win the duel, but there's a second player on the smoke. Yeah, he's... Flay could have gone through, but Ops not to. He is dotting around. Sun Pius being really careful, though. He's got a good coverage position. Oh, there nice. it is. There's finally a response back. They deal with the Spaniard, but Flay at this point has been found out. Softened up. And versus four with a slow... Secret crawl coming in behind him. Or is it in front? Miss shot, and there we have it. Falcons take their 12th. Yeah, they get their 12th. Um, in with and, confidence. Yeah, and this is, you know, not two rounds where the upper side weak, or the upper side hold is very good, and they just sit there and win here. They go for the trophy push. They combine it with the lobby, lobby crunch, and it's like a perfect use of the purchases. Again, all this presence outer playing around the smokes. SNX may just try to crank the notch here. Snappy. Oh, they trade places. SNX is behind this. Wait, that actually works out so well. Snappy's still in a good enough spot to recover, and nobody else actually got out onto the site at the same time. That could have been awful. Instead, they're just going to charge four strong towards ramp. Boros here to hold it. Uh -oh. His chance. Sun Pius not going to let that slack go by. Sun Pius missing his next shot opens the heavens. It puts an op in the hands of Flay. We know what he did last time. He oh, needs another. he turns. And with Snappy down beneath him, that's where this one oh. ends. Snappy. Happy to close it and Falcon survive. Oh my God. That was so nuts. They survive in the end after all of that. That is so crazy, man. I think that I want to believe that the Rebels would be happy no matter what happens in this outcome. But they know that they could have won this map. They could have won this series. And it got so close. They have so much to be proud of. That was such an exciting thing to put down for the Polish fans here in Katowice. And even though they've got other people to carry on the banner for them at this event, they have certainly done more than their part. A true testament to the reason we invite the local teams. Give a shot to the underdogs and they will grasp it with both hands, trying to join the heroes in Katowice. But at the end of the day, it smiles across all 10 players because they know that was some action-packed Counter-Strike. Everything left on the server and at the end of the day it's fist bumps all around